All right, in this video, we are going to plan what we are going to build on an Excalibur and that plan will become our blueprint and we'll keep coming back to that drawing board. Uh, so basically, just to reiterate, we are going to build a voice AI agent, something that can sit on a phone number and it can call leads um, of a form that you fill. And that lead, um, leaves a phone number and an email address and maybe some basic information about something. In my case, I'm going to use it personally for my um, cohorts. Um, I do these monthly free um, AI agent workshops using N810 and Vib Vibe coding. And what I'm trying to do now is to have like every Sunday um, a cohort of 10 people um, that I put them all in one WhatsApp group, and then we keep building a product for an entire month. It's kind of like a boot camp. Um, I started it last week. Uh, for those 10, I got 35. A week later, or during the last week, I announced it again for the next batch. I got 150 plus people. And it's very hard for me to find out what makes sense to kind of like do the evaluation. It's a lot of work. If I keep talking to 150 people, even 10 minutes, it's a lot of time. And I'm a full-time um, freelancer. I build AI agents for SMEs uh, and I have an agency. So it makes my life very, very hard. So I'm gonna build it for myself, but it can be adopted for any business. So let's plan this thing out on this Excalibur. What um, is the idea that we have, um, let's say, a contact form, uh, whatever we'll define it um, as we go on. And that contact form is filled um, containing some information. And that will go to an N810 workflow, uh, which is for initiating calls, basically. And by the way, in here, I would like to mention something uh, important. Um, as per a, um, an Harvard uh, Business School um, study, it is mentioned that 391% um, chances of uh, closing a deal um, if you call a lead within 60 seconds of that lead filling a form. So literally this happens literally within 60 seconds. That call happens after the call link. What is that call for? Um, it goes to Eleven Labs. Um, it basically initiates a call using Eleven Labs. Um, <clears throat> and then imagine if that person that is filling the form is this cool guy um, let's give him a name called Alex. So as soon as Alex fills that form, uh, what happens is that he gets a call within 60 seconds from 11 Labs. So that's, that's the initial idea. And then after that, uh, this initiate call will also do one more thing besides uh, initiating a call here. It will also store some data in a Firebase, a <laughs> Supabase. Um, so it also stores some data in a database. We'll get to know that uh, later on, besides initiating the call. And once that call initiation is done, um, it can happen that Alex is busy and he doesn't pick the call. So if, uh, let's say, there could be two scenarios, like whether he picks the call um, or he doesn't. If he doesn't pick the call, then, um, and then it will update the status here. So this is this, the place where we will build the CRM. And then what will happen is another NA10 workflow will be initiated from this, with the, which is email communication. So from um, this 
didn't pick, a webhook will be sent back to, um, this will also be an N810 workflow. An N810 workflow will start from here so that this becomes as an email communication with Alex back and forth so that we can gather all the information that we are looking for in order to qualify Alex as a as a as a lead. And if this call happened, this pick call worked, um, then all of the information of that is also stored here um, for lead qualification. So for lead qualification, we're gonna store that information in our database. Um, the last piece of uh, work that we're gonna do is that this data, as it evolves over time, we will create more uh, UI around it. For example, um, how is it going to look like? Uh, the All the Anything workflows, like literally right now, it's a very rough and abstract diagram. We have these two Anything workflows, probably we're going to have more. Um, these will create kind of like a, a lot of data, and that data uh, probably from this email communication also goes to NA10 sorry, for in the database. So all of this data will be used in order to do certain um, decision making based on that one thing. So once the, the data is there, then we do um, quite a bit of things, which is another innate and workflow taking care of um, intro, uh, or appointment booking. This would be another N810 workflow that will take all of that data that is coming in and qualifying this lead with Alex uh, and also getting either through an email or through a phone call. Through an email communication or through a phone call, gets a time from Alex and books an appointment on my calendar. And as this data is uh, being um, propagated, it goes on a Canva. So the UI of that would look something like this. Um, as soon as somebody fills a form, they get a card like this. So this is Alex Doe. Um, there is like, let's say Lisa Doe. And then so on and so on. You get the point. Um, and then this could be like filled the form, the, the columns, maybe we can also make them um, dynamic so that you can fill these columns at some point in time. I we, We'll just talk about the um, in progress. Uh, so as soon as Alex gets into the call, picks up a phone call or um, answers an email, this happens. We'll, We'll discuss about how these cards should look like later on, like small little details on the card to indicate that Alex um, is engaged via an email and so on and so forth. Um, and then maybe kind of like uh, this qualified lead or a qualified lead. Um, a qualified might be kind of like appointment book. So that Alex, based on the information that we provide, can go here or can go here. And if that is an appointment book, uh, basically we have a calendar uh, entry, a Google Calendar entry in this particular um, a Google Calendar um, integration in this particular Anything workflow, which means that uh, we'll do an, an actual calendar invite to both Alex and myself emails. Um, this UI was just the Kanban feature of this, but it will also have like UI for building um, the prompt, like um, providing the details of the prompt, providing um, kind of like 
controls where you can change certain behaviors of the bot, um, prompting it and, uh, I don't know, custom variables that will go to 11 labs and so on and so forth. Uh, one thing that I have to mention is that 11 labs um, is the new, like 11 labs is just catching up with the voice AI agents um, world before we had um, in all of my um, workshops lately, I have covered uh, another company, not 11 labs. Uh, that company is called Vapi. Um, I work with Vapi mostly. But 11 Labs um, is also very, very interesting. I'm personally using 11 Labs' voice clone for a long time on this button. You can click it and then it can talk to you. It sounds so much like me. But this particular voice AI agent we are going to build is also based on my voice AI agents so that people who fill a form in order to join my voice AI agent cohorts or boot camps. Uh, including NA10 and VAPI, they will first talk to my uh, voice agent. As soon as they fill the form, they receive a call. They engage in a phone call as prompted by me using for that particular cohort. And then based on the qualification criteria in that particular um, um, cohort or that particular Kanban, then we basically um, move people or participants from the left side to the right side and eventually book an actual um, call with me, a discovery call, so that we can put uh, very relevant people in one cohort. Um, I do these cohorts uh, only one time per month, uh, first Sunday of every month, and it's a four months long cohort. Um, and I, I can only imagine that putting uh, relevant people in one group makes sense. Therefore, I'm building this voice AI agent um, so that it can help me, and I hope this will help everyone else. And this content will be the content for the cohort itself. So as soon as you start, you watch all of these series. First day of the cohort is basically a full day Q&A. Uh, you have any questions throughout the series that you watched, you ask me on a live call, I, I answer it, all the call is recorded, you get access to the answers. After that, we have a daily stand-up meeting. Um, you basically get a peer pressure from other cohort members. Uh, you guys pitch an idea and then you work on that idea for the next three weeks, four weeks. Um, and on every next Sunday for 90 minutes, uh, you're going to do um, a, a detailed presentation of what you have built uh, and ask me questions about what can be done better. Uh, and then on the fourth Sunday, you're going to pitch it to everyone and to the entire world, and you will become an AI native developer. So who am I? Uh, let's talk about that in the next video.